When I'm creating portraits like this, I like to start with the eyes. I block in the outline using compressed charcoal, then blend with a brush and tissue paper. I use a putty eraser to add the details, then work over the pupil and the darks with a charcoal pencil. Next, I use a Tombow mono eraser to remove the highlights. Now I'm working on the area around the eye. I block in the darks with the stick and pencil. I'm blending to create variation in value. I use the putty eraser to add the first strands, then darken everything up with the pencil and a blending stump dipped in charcoal powder. I then use an electric eraser for the brightest lights. For the dark fur of the head, I'm starting with the charcoal stick, blocking in the spots. Then I'm going to use the tissue to blend everything together in order to create a base coat to work on top of. I'm then using the putty eraser to remove the first fur layer. Then I move to the Tombow to remove the finer hairs. Sometimes it can look a bit flat at this stage, so I need to add more shadow with the charcoal powder and a brush. I repeat this technique for the rest of the face, but there is one big difference. Where I started with the compressed charcoal, I now use a piece of vine charcoal for the blocking, which is softer and a lighter grey than the compressed charcoal. This area of the face is much lighter, so the darker areas need to be lighter as well. Which means I can't use that black compressed charcoal as that would just be too dark. It's then just a case of erasing the details of the fur. If I'm being honest, all of the tiny details that I do don't really add much to the realism. The most important thing is getting those light shadows and midtones in the right place and the right shape. If you get your values right, it goes a long way to creating a realistic piece. In fact, I'd say it was about 80% value and only about 20% details for realism. For the nose, I outline first with the compressed charcoal. Then I use a charcoal pencil to outline the top edge and shade in the nose. I find the pencil a much cooler shade than the compressed charcoal, and the vine charcoal would just be too light to use. I blend it again with the tissue, and use my erasers to remove the details. On to the rest of the nose now. This time I'm using tissue and charcoal powder for the blocking, as I want a softer undercoat with more variation in lights and shadows. I'm using layers of powder as it is easier to erase than the stick or pencil blocking, and I want to be able to add crisp, sharp strands of fur to the nose. For the muzzle spots, I use the compressed charcoal, then use the tissue and powder for the rest of the blocking. I'm also using the brush to add some darker shadows on the muzzle too. Then it's just an eraser for the details. The only part of the drawing that I indent is the whiskers. Then I use an eraser to clean them up and a charcoal pencil to fill in any gaps. For the background, here I'm using a big stick of vine charcoal. I'm blending it using a makeup sponge, 
This allows me to get lighter and softer background shades, again to add more variation to my values. The legs are done the same as the rest of the body. Starting with the dark compressed charcoal. Blending it with the tissue. And using the eraser to bring out the details. I don't need to add much detail to the shadows. There's no light. Therefore, we wouldn't see much detail there. So they can stay quite dark. The whiskers can be brought out again using the Tombow Eraser. Whiskers need to be done very slowly and controlled, not fast and loose if you're aiming for realism. I want the back quite soft against the background rather than a hard line. To do this, I add the compressed charcoal just above the edge of the back and use a tissue to pull the charcoal down towards the line of the back. This allows me to create a dark but soft edge that further details can be erased into. For this piece, I wanted the head and legs to be at the front of the scene. So to push them forward, they need the most detail. The back needs to be much softer and almost out of focus. Most of the back is done with a brush and charcoal powder. This piece is going to be called Darkness Approaches, so I need to add more dark. The background needs to be covered in the compressed charcoal and then blended back with the tissue. I wanted a mystical, almost dreamlike look to this piece. I wanted the Jaguar to be emerging from the shadows. So I used my putty eraser to create these soft, wisp-like shadows surrounding the Jaguar. I really like how it looks, and it's almost like the Jaguar is coming out of the shadows, but also like the Jaguar is creating the shadows around it. The, the Jaguar is the darkness. This is one of my all-time favourite charcoal pieces, and I love how it turned out. I get loads of questions asking about the materials I use, so I created this video going through everything involved in a piece like this. I'll put a link to it in the description too. I hope you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.